Hi Leo, welcome to In Spiritual Tarot. My name is Jenny. We're gonna go ahead and get your September 2021 energy reading. Um, quick one, 10, 15 minutes. And this can be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Like I always say, please take what resonates. It's not gonna resonate for everyone. There's millions of Leos out there, especially when you put in the um, Moon, Rising, and, and Venus signs as well. So you might wanna check out, like if you're a Leo Sun, um, but you're a Taurus moon, you might want to check out Taurus as well, as well as wherever your birth chart sits for your v, uh, Venus and rising as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is just get your energy for September, um, someone around you's energy, the com combination of the two energies together or a situation as the energy, and then we're going to get the possible outcome. Energy always can be changed. We have free will. Other people have free will. We can change it. Um, like I said, that's the good re good thing about keeping up with tarot occasionally because we can see where we're headed with our energy and um, our vibration and we can change it if we don't like it. Um, keep in mind, we can sabotage it as well because <laughs> we are ego beings and we can do that and we have fear and all that stuff. Um, then we're going to get the, uh, like I said, the possible outcome and then some advice. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in and see. What's going on with your energy? Let's see which deck I want to use. I'm going to use this one. This is for your energy, Leo, for September 2021. What energy, what collective Leo of Leo's energy do you want to tap into today, Spirit? Let's see. What's Leo's energy for September 2021? Energy for Leo, September 2021, please. Okay, so we have the Six of Needles, Six of Swords. Six of Swords getting through hard times, you know, getting through all those turbulent waters, those choppy uh, waves, you know, just like, you know, paddling along, doing the best we can, getting through it, okay? So it looks like you might be trying to get over something, get through some kind of difficult or challenge. Um, let's see what else is going Mending, she looks like she's mending something here, mending her little wounds. Yeah. All right, let's see what else is coming up. We have the tower reverse, so you could have had something unexpected and shocking happen, um, and it looks like it might be the aftermath. You know, you're sweeping up that dust now, and that's why you're doing some mending, getting through that turbulence. You know, that shakeup in your life. Anything else for Leo's energy? Knight of Candles. So it could have been something emotional. This is someone who wears their heart on their sleeve. Um, you know, very. Uh, loving open emotionally so it could have been something that uh, hurt your emotions um broke your heart something like that all right so now we are going to get someone else's energy around you or a situation around you let's get their energy it's the energy of this person around leo during september 2021 what's their energy like Ooh, they had some kind of toxic energy around them. Either they have some kind of addictions or they're just uh, draining like a vampire. Just they have toxic energy around them. But it looks like they might be coming out of this. Maybe the shake up like stirred up some things and they're trying to get their act together a little bit. Some kind of toxic energy or they could be like have some kind of addiction that they're working through something, some kind of negative energy here or their behaviors were negative that could have been what hurt you as well and they're getting uh, trying to overcome it right now because they have it reversed all right let's see what else mm, a missed opportunity here yeah they're not like it looks like this person they might have had some kind of addiction and I'm feeling that you might have been trying to help them out, get over this negativity, but they weren't accepting it. But now there's something they cause pain or some unfortunate event to you, and <clears throat> they're trying to get over it, but they're still like not really opening up or, or taking some help from you. And I think you might have actually backed off now because you're trying to recover and, and get over it yourself. You're, you know, you're trying to get through this choppy waters and move forward. Um, and that might have gave them a wake-up call. Let's see what, if they have anything else coming up. 
I'm also getting for some of them this addiction or whatever this toxic behavior is. They are turning their back on any kind of help for that, you know. And then they have the uh, Seven of Swords. This is like some kind of trickster manipulation. So if it's sometimes people when they're in at an addiction state, their mind isn't always clear and they can be manipulative to get what they want because they're hooked to that um, that outer toxic situation, behavior, um, drug, alcohol, whatever it is. And then now, yeah, look, this is celebration of friendship and it's the, it's reversed. So it looks like they've kind of did something to hurt you, turn their back on you. Um, and I'm really feeling it's something with this negativity. They kind of manipulated it. They might not have done it on purpose, but somehow they, because of the drug, I mean, but that doesn't mean we put up with it, right? Because you are um, getting through some choppy waters after some kind of shocking situation happened. So, all right. Now we're going, oh, there's one more turned up right here. Oh, look, this one was turned up, the moon. So hidden, fear-based, yeah. Yeah, okay, so something's got their grips on this person, whether it's a behavior, an addiction, some kind of negativity, and it's really affecting people that, that care about them, um, their lifestyle, their home environment, yeah. All right, so now we are going to get the combination or the situation energy. Let's go ahead and get these cards here. What's going on? Oh my gosh, look at that. We have the moon again reversed. So something's become illuminated and it could have been from that tower. So, because the moon is reversed now. Queen of Swords, reversed. Not living the authentic self. And now, of course, when people are in addictions or in a pattern of behavior that's negative, they don't always see clearly, do they? Mm -mm. They have both reversed. So, or that's actually the situation. So, <clears throat> something could be coming illuminated. Um, some people could be facing their fears now. But there's still some kind of you had this person living in some kind of tricky behavior or manipulative behavior, not being authentic. All right, let's see if there's any other energy coming up for both of you. Whoa, the cycle ending. Something's ending. Like this, putting up with this behavior, putting up with this behavior here. It's like you're moving forward. You're like, okay, I've had enough, you know? Something is just not happy anymore. Ten of Cups is happiness and bliss. It's just not making you happy anymore. It's just draining you. Page of Swords, getting some intuitive messages or some kind of messages coming in um, with clarity and truth. And look at this now. Four of Cups is turning your back on something, now accepting something. So I really think this person might have had a wake-up call from some kind of behavior or addiction or something they've done to hurt you and have you turn your back kind of on them. Like, okay, not turn your back on them, but like, hey, I've had enough. I've been trying to help you. Now it's affecting me and my livelihood and my happiness. You know, something dirty happened, something like that. Some kind of manipulation, tricky behavior, tower moment. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and get um also oh look at this eight of pentacles reversed this is like skill set working towards something now now i'm not working towards it anymore all right so now we are going to go ahead and get um possible outcome possible outcome of this situation no one pulled over let's see what this is possible outcome Restriction. Yeah. So I'm really getting that this person, if they don't follow through with their treatment or, or changing this behavior, they're going to stay stuck. If you go keep going back and this person doesn't deal with it on their own, you're going to be stuck, trapped. It's going to be a cycle that's, you know, you did get the, uh, where is that? The world. So <clears throat> it's time to complete this cycle. <clears throat> I'm not saying be, not be there for this person, but don't put up with the enabling anymore. Don't put up with the affecting your happiness and your livelihood. Unfortunately, it's harsh, but 
people don't learn that way. Uh, if you just keep going back and like giving them second chances, third chances, fourth chances, they have to have a major wake up call and do it. There's like rock hit with sometimes you have to hit rock bottom, like that tower moment, right? <coughs> Four of Pentacles, you know, getting that stability, you know, things have got to be stable. This is just like seems like it's a mess. <laughs> Let's see what else. Okay, here's one. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, now it's upright. We just had it reversed. So working on your own skills, working on your your abundance, things like that. Gaining some knowledge. Um, they do too. They need to like have this wake up call and realize that their life it might be in jeopardy if it's a serious addiction or something like that. Um, you know, sometimes, like I said, we have to hit rock bottom and lose things like people or whatever when we're not willing to do the work, right? All right. That doesn't mean you're not a loyal friend. Sometimes you have to be like, you know, in that situation, especially when it's affecting you and your family and your mental health and your physical health and your livelihood and things like that, right? So now we are going to go ahead and get some advice. Advice for Leo, September, 2021. Here's an example. I worked with this girl that, um, she had some tragedy happen in her life, some really trauma, and she ended up hooked on heroin. She was getting in trouble. She had a really serious accident. She had a kid too, right? So her father, who loved her dearly, was like, okay, I'm keeping the kid and you cannot come here anymore. And it was really devastating to her, but you know, he had to do that. And you know what? It turned her whole life around because she's like, I'm not losing my kid. I love my dad as well. Got her shit together and she's doing well now. So sometimes that has to happen because he he saw her going down this spiral where she was either going to kill herself or kill her child or something like that, or even end up in prison and kill someone else. That's that's what I'm saying. That kind of, that kind of love. It's hard. It's like tough love, but you know, sometimes that's what we have to do to wake somebody up, right? So... Unfortunately, we can't control people. Everybody has free will on their own. Advice for Leo, September 2021. Go, yep, going towards that clarity, you know. To dare is to lose one's footing momentarily. Not to dare is to lose oneself, right? Yep. And this is the Don Quick Stop artwork going through towards that truth taking action towards it whether we like it or not you know truth can't be changed whether we don't like it or what king of pentacles getting that stability being that stable person being that leader okay so now we have six of swords keep chugging through those choppy waters yeah, it's tough, but that's what you got to do, right? Higher fan. You're really, this is like tapping into your spirituality and your morals and all that. This is like avoiding it. <clears throat> really go deep and think about what your morals are and what this whole situation means, okay? You know, don't be clouded. The fool reversed. Yeah, it's time to take a risk and, you know, it's time to take a risk. You can't stay like in a little bubble and not face things, you know, it's reality. It's gonna hit you in the face eventually, like at that tower did, right? And the last one, hermit. Going within, listen to that intuition again. So, <clears throat> that's the advice. Now we're going to go ahead and get a uh, animal that might be guiding you through September or the qualities you need to take on. Let's see. Not yet, please. Thank you. For Leo, an animal that might be helping you through September or the qualities of this animal you need to take on to get through the situation. Keep your vibration high. We have giraffe, visionary, rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Wow, that's just perfect for this reading. And big heart, that's the Leo, right? So... Be that visionary, rise above these earthly matters, you know? See the bigger picture, tap into your spirituality, okay? 
So that is your message, Leo. I hope you have a beautiful September. I hope you get through this. It's always challenging to see somebody you care about losing themselves. It's really hard. So, um, and I don't want it to be like a everlasting tragedy, you know, just dealt with that myself. It wasn't like addictions, but you know, so please be safe. Please take care of yourself. And I hope this person gets the help they need. And I hope you do too, because it can be devastating for you as well. So take care, Leo. Take it. Have a. I hope your um, September goes beautifully and peacefully, and <clears throat> things work out. So, Namaste. Bye.